Success never comes without trials. That's just the way it is. Let me tell you a story about that. <clears throat> so there was a boy who was growing up, and while he was growing up, he always dreamed of being a doctor. All he ever wanted to do was to help others. And this wasn't just some typical kid dream that, you know, seemed far-fetched, like a firefighter or an astronaut or something like that. He knew that he wanted to be a doctor, and he couldn't let anyone else tell him otherwise. One day when he was young, he went to his dad and he said, Dad, what do I have to do to become a doctor? And, he re and the dad replied with, It's a lot of hard work, son, and a lot of school. Maybe you want to pick an easier occupation. And he said, No. Dad, I want to help others. And his dad just kept going on saying, you know, he could do a ton of other jobs that help people. That's that's what most jobs are for, to help people. But he was determined. This kid knew what he wanted. Every day, he would go to school just wanting to learn. He was so eager. But school never came easy. Unfortunately, as he tried, as hard as he tried, he never seemed to do well. He would come home every day, afraid to tell his parents the grades that he had gotten. He knew that he was trying his hardest, but he just couldn't convince them of that. He would even go into the classroom every day after class and ask the teacher for help. You know what she said to him, though? Maybe this class isn't for you. Maybe you should take an easier class. So what was he going to do? He seemed alone. And it only got worse from there. He would come home every night and sit in his room, contemplating his own life. He was worried. He asked God every night, Why are you giving me this vision? And yet I can't even pass the simplest classes. He was failing anatomy, a crucial part of medical school requirements. He understood it, but he just couldn't do it. Was this really meant for him? Was he really doing what he was meant to do? Maybe he was just better off ending it. And he actually contemplated it a lot. Every day he would get a grade back. He thought further into the future about what this grade would do. If he failed this test, he would bring his GPA down, and then he would get kicked out of school, and then what? He would live on the street? <laughs> ending his life seemed like the better option. And that's all he knew. On one particular night, a warm summer night in July. He was walking along a bridge in his town, wondering if the height was high enough to do the job. Then he heard a voice out of nowhere, and looking around, he didn't see anyone. So he was very confused. And then all of a sudden, a really bright light. And a man appeared literally out of nowhere. <laughs> the boy had never seen this man before. But before he could even question it, the man began to speak. What do you think you're doing? No, 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 no. This was not how it was meant to be. Why are you thinking of jumping? Honestly, the boy was still confused about where the man even came from, but now he was even more confused how he knew he was going to jump. Sir, I, I don't know who you are, but I don't think you know my life. You don't understand what's happening. You don't know what I'm going through. Ever since I was a little boy, all I've wanted to do is help people. I want to be a doctor. That's pretty noble, right? And I thought this was what I was meant to do my whole life. But I'm failing every class and I can't do anything right. I'm doubting myself and how am I supposed to tell anyone? My parents, my teachers, my friends. I just feel alone and I want to leave this world forever. The man said, let me ask you something, kid. What exactly is that going to do? Taking your own life, what is it going to do? Tell me. I mean, it's easier. <laughs> it just takes the pressure off me for once. I can't handle it anymore. I feel like I'm just going to implode on myself. I don't even know. The man says, so... So it's because it's easier. That's what you should do, right? Because it's easier, you should just end your life. Let me ask you something. What if anybody 
who had an impact on this world, anyone who has ever lived in this world, if that's what they said, if they just gave up when it got too hard, what do you think this world would be like? <laughs> It'd be a lot different, I would definitely tell you that. So do you think that's still the right thing to do? A actually, <clears throat> before you even respond, let me tell you why that's not the right choice, ever. You are a bright kid. I can tell that you listen to your heart and that you do what you want, regardless of what others tell you is possible. This dream of yours, it's in your heart for a reason. And only you can fulfill this dream. Not the kid next to you in class, not your mom or your dad, not anybody else, but you. You were given these gifts and you're going to shine using these gifts. You wanna help people, that's awesome. So go for it. You've come so far, what makes you think that giving up is a good idea right now? Remember how happy this dream used to make you? Let's get back to that. Forget about the failures. Honestly, they mean nothing in the end. What matters is not what you fail on, but how you respond to that failing. This is what you're, this, what you're doing right now, this is not the response. This is not the response that you should be doing. Do you realize how much you'd be missed? And not only that, how much the world would miss out on if you weren't here? You aren't a mistake. You're here for a purpose. And that purpose is your dream. To be a doctor, you just told me that's what you want to do. So why give up on it? No grade, no professor, no circumstance, nothing, nothing can change that. Only you have the power to dictate the future. And hey, I never said it was going to be easy. In fact, if it's challenging, you're probably on the right track. And I know that's annoying to say, but it's true. The harder it is, maybe it's the more worth it to you. But think about why you're doing this. All of those people that you want to be help, that you want to help, you know, you said you wanted to help people, they will never be helped if you leave this world right now. Think about that. Think about why you want to do what you want to do. And never forget that the process is what makes you the person you become. You are going to be the best doctor out there. Just trust me, I know. Pain is temporary. It may last for an hour, a day. It may even last a year or longer. But it will subside. And something else, something better, will take its place. It always does. But you can't give up. If you give up now, that pain will last forever. Ending your life right now won't end the pain. It will only make it longer. <laughs> Is that what you want? So step back from there. Go back home. Take a break from the books. And think about why you're here. What you're doing. And then when you realize that, go back to the books, do everything you can, and the path will be made. You're not, you're not ever going to be off of the path that you're intended to be on. Let me tell you something. You might be religious or not, I don't know, and it doesn't matter to me, but you're never not on the path that God has for you. You will end up where you're supposed to be, but if you give up now, you will never know what could have been. And after that, the, the guy just disappeared. And the kid just stood there. Honestly, I'm not really sure if he was... He was still confused about where the man even came from, or if he was taking to heart whatever, what, what was said. But this night changed the boy. He went home and wrote this after that night. I'm going to fail. And I'm going to get up. And I might fail again after that. But I'm going to keep getting up until it kills me. A grade is a grade. It doesn't mean anything because I'm still going to end up where I need to be in the end. It might take me longer. It might take me on a more confusing path than others. And it might not be as easy. But I will not give up. Don't look at the other people around you and how they do it. It doesn't matter to you. Your journey is yours alone. You're going to be better for it. Hard work never kills me. If it's worth it, it's worth fighting for. So quit being a coward. Get up, 
go out there and run this shit.